Ho, 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 and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Here we are in our very special Christmas episode. We have a festive roundup of showbiz news, a glimpse of seasonal things from the internet, and a very Christmassy life lesson. You may also see a celebrity or two pop up to wish us a Merry Christmas. And now it's time to say, well, hello, to the man who, because of the lockdown, has actually appeared on Santa's good list. It's Mike. Yes, I ha it was a shock to me as well when that happened. Was it? Yes, I'm normally on the naughty list, mm -hmm. uh, right at the top. Yeah. Because people like me on the naughty list mm -hmm. for some reason. But I've been jingling my bell about the internet to bring you some sparkly things for you to pop up your tree, including how to get your hands on the latest must-have toy. And I have some hot showbiz news about the new Christmas songs that are out and about. And also, we might have a visit from the fat guy. Oh. Not me. Oh, okay. Good. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us on this show as a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast app. If you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen right now. And speaking of people interacting with us, here's someone with a special message just for us. Hi there, everybody. It's me, Dollar Potter. I'm coming to you from Dollarwood, where it's Christmas all year round. I just wanted to wish you guys a happy holidays and a Merry New Year. I don't think it's Merry New Year, but you know what I'm trying to say. Jolene, Jolene, yeah. It's Christmas, and goodwill is all around. D did you just say willies? Well, it, no, I meant it's the season to be merry. Who are you calling merry? No, no, it's the time of year when Santa comes down your chimney. Not in my house. But he's been known to bash my back door in. I think we should leave it there and get on with the... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he is off helping his gentleman friend decorate his Christmas tree. He says he likes nothing more than shiny red balls and a fairy on top. The producer has very kindly sent us an advent calendar, which is unusual for him, as the last gift he gave anyone needed a dose of penicillin to get rid of. All we have to do is pick a door and follow the instructions. I'm going to choose mm. first day of Christmas. Peel it back to what we said. Ooh. In 60 seconds, fully decorate this mini Christmas tree, complete with lights and angel on top. Ooh. It's a good job some of the stuff has been thoughtfully left for yeah, us. Yeah, it is. So, um, mini Christmas tree. Uh-huh. And a thing full of of decorations. Am I allowed to um, extend the... No, no. No! No, 60 seconds. No, don't start. Oh, we'll put that back. Um. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Go. And while Lee desperately tries to demangle his Christmas tree, we'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Just try to put it down there. Christmas tree. You smell of weed. I'm sure it says decorate, not dis. I've got I 60 seconds. I'm oh, doing you, it. You've, you've not got 60 seconds. You've got 30 seconds left now. Uh, uh, ooh. Ah! Ooh! Oh, you're dropping your baubles. They've got no little hangy bits. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a you problem. Oh, sugar lumps. Some of these, let's take some of these. Oh. Oh. Ten seconds. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on heads. <laughs> well, that's a look. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Can you see me? And then I've gone, I'm back. <gasps> I'm hiding. Oh, now I'm here. Um, <laughs> I suppose it's decorated. I'm gonna put it there, near the elf. Yeah, let's have the next one. I'm going to pick now, and I'm gonna pick door number four. Oh. 
Name all Santa's all of reindeer. Santa's reindeer. Ooh. Come on then. Okay, Hugh, Drew, Barney, McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, and Grub. No, that's the Clangers. That's not the Clangers. That's Trumpton. Okay. <laughs> um, Donna, Dancer, Blitzen. Have you got a list of these, or you just? I may <laughs> have. I may not have. <laughs> I'm just going to see if you just like. It's like <laughs> Don't be locking. <laughs> it's a current so so miracle. Donna, of... Dancer, Blitzen. Yeah. Mutton. <laughs> Rudolph, Dancer, Prancer. <laughs> okay. I'm getting taller, but I've said the name twice, I know. Um, Rudolph to the Revenge. Sadness, Disappointment, and Regret. That's that's three, yeah. Sadness, Disappointment, Regret. Um, what's his face that I had last night? Venison with a, a red wine jus. Oh, okay. I don't think you. I think you got some. Okay. Okay, so. Um, Dasher? Did you say Dasher? Yeah, I said Dasher. Did you say Dasher? Yeah, yeah. Dancer, you got Dancer? Uh-huh, I've got Dancer, yeah. You didn't get Prancer. I said Prancer. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't? You didn't say Vixen? You didn't say Comet? You didn't say Cupid? You said Donna? Yeah. Yeah? Blitzen and, of course, Rudolph. Yeah, yeah, said them all. Yeah. So you didn't, you got, like, three. No, I got more than three. No, you got three. I've real off Dancer, Prancer and Vixen to start with. Next number. <laughs> Before I kill you, it's Christmas. I'm gonna go. Hmm, where's the shiny thing? I'm gonna go. Oh, um, Legs 11, number seven. Does that even what no, that is? Legs 11 is 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's number seven? Oh, God, I didn't really want to do this one. <laughs> I have a feeling that I, I'm, I'm looking on my list here. Uh huh. I'm sure that Sprout Roulette is a joint game. Right, so in here, yeah. this tub, I have some Ferrero Rocher. Okay. Some are traditional, for real Ferrero Rocher. Uh -huh. Some are Brussels sprouts dipped in chocolate and then wrapped back up in the Ferrero oh, Rocher. Okay. To be fair, you can probably tell which is which. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, I'll hold that up to the camera. Which is the real one? Which is the... Oh, the whiff is not good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and take one out. Okay. You're going to hand it over to you. You can close your eyes and take one out. Okay. And then we have to eat it. Okay. Okay. Fine. So. I've never mesmer memorized. Oh no, I don't. I think... <laughs> right. I go. I'm I not go. looking. I'm not going to look at the one okay. that I've got. Right. And I'm closing my eyes. I'm going for this one here. Okay. So you've got to keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Um, and unwrap it and eat it. I'm going to hold it up to the... To the I, I know that I've got... I know... Right, OK. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. <laughs> Are they raw? <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Oh, OK. Delicious! <laughs> you have a little sprouty sprout. Yes. It's my turn to pick. After I think I won that one. Um, I'm going to pick number 13. One lucky for some. Do an impression of Alad Jones singing Walk in the Air. Mm -hmm. Now, is that modern day Alad Jones? No, child Alad Jones. Child Alad Jones. From the snowman. Okay. We're walking in the air! See? Perfect. There's more. You've got to, you can't just do one line. I don't know the rest of the words. We're something, something, something blue. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs> I don't like the snowman. Do you not? No. Okay. I'm going to... That, that's it. That's all I that's know. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's your lot. To Yoga. be fair, yeah. Okay. You could, have, you could have had, we're floating in the moonlit sky. I said something, something blue. The that's... people far below are sleeping as we fly. Okay. Take that carrot out of my a It hurts. That's a different kind of song. Oh, okay. Right. So I think I think that that's kind of. Are we, are we saying that we've we've, we've both won because we've both opened up doors? Yeah. Yeah. If you could have a Christmas message from anybody in the world, famous, who would it be? Hmm. Hmm.
Hello, hello, hello! It's me, RuPaul Charles, wishing you all a happy Christmas at Chewing the Cud and all you Cudsters out there. That's cost you $4,000. I accept transfers via check or pigeon, or you could just buy my new song on iTunes. That's my new song on iTunes, or my album on iTunes, or anything else I've done on iTunes. Now available on iTunes. Keep counting down the minutes until we bring you another special life lesson. Move away from the mistletoe, as we still have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, it's a well-known fact that his sack expands to enormous proportions at Christmas and he loves having people rummaging around down there to see if they get a surprise. It's Lee with the showbiz. Hire it out as a bouncy castle. Do you really? Yeah. Ooh, I bet that's enjoyable. What are people bouncing on it? Mm, I've heard. It's great. Mm. Great fun. Showbiz Christmas news. Christmas? Is a time where the celebs they like to put out a they like to put out a tune, don't they? That they have been known to put things mm, out there. Nothing brings in the Christmas coin mm -hmm. over year over year. Ask Mariah. Yeah. And then Slade. It, yeah. We've got some new new Christmas stuff to to get our ear holes round. Okay. So the first one we've got together, th this might be up your street, but I'm, I'm oh, not 100 percent sure. Is um, together at Christmas, Michael Ball and Alfie Bow. Oh, I like their voices. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Now they're not they're not a stranger to doing music together. No. But you know it's Christmas, so um, this is the blurb. It's two of the ideal voices in the world are back. What they do the most, mm -hmm. um, singing songs full of album cheer. Album cheer. I've been at the eggnog. Um, so. Usual Christmas standards, Oh Holy Night, Mistletoe, oh, Mistletoe and Wine, yeah. ugh. Uh, and a new track, My Christmas Will Be Better Than Yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> That's, I would say that is one for the nans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next up, we have oh, A Holly Dolly Christmas by Ooh. Dolly Parton. No, I'd enjoy that one. Yeah. I'm a bit dolly. It's her first Christmas album in 30 years. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's a collection of music. Again, timeless Christmas songs, as well as um, a few um, original tracks. So um, it's she's got she's doing duets on the album. Mm -hmm. So she's got Michael Bublé. Is does a Christmas album exist if Michael Bublé is not Christmas on it? Christmas doesn't exist if Michael it Bublé doesn't. Is not um, Billy Ray Cyrus. Okay. And Choice. Miley Cyrus, because Miley Cyrus is Dolly's goddaughter. Yeah. It's country-tinged festive tunes Okay. for your gay uncle. Okay. Lovely. I would say. So if, if my nephews are watching, please don't. Please do. Like 12 of them. Um, next one. Now, this is, this is a bit left field. This would be cool. Ooh. This is a gentleman called Leslie Odom. Okay. Um, I love this just for that cover. You like the jacket. I think that, <laughs> you know, that is Tiger King at Christmas, isn't it? Um, so it, this is kind of jazz. I wanted to create a cre an album that didn't feel disconnected from the political climate. An album with a finger on the pulse of time we're living in. Okay. I'm not quite sure how you can do that Christmassy. You better not cough, you better not sneeze. I'm telling you why, coronavirus coming. Yeah, to <laughs> it's, it's jazzy, hip hop versions of Christmas, like, uh, uh, Wham's Last Christmas. Mm -hmm. I actually listened to the Wham Last Christmas, his version, and it's actually quite good. Okay, so you've lost Whamageddon already. Whamageddon. I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> um, so this would, be, this would be for your trendy music loving cousin, I okay. feel. Yeah, okay. Next one. Mm -hmm. Megan Trainor. It's all about the bass. All about the bass. Mm -hmm. Now, last we saw she was on The Voice here. Uh huh. She's having a baby now. Oh. Yeah. Um, so she's Is that related to being on The Voice? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Who's on The Voice, now she's having a baby. Who, who knows? Um, so she has... It's, again, another Christmassy... There's some, like, half of it is traditional, already done Christmas songs, mm -hmm. existing Christmas songs. Um, and then there's um, original recordings. OK. So, again, she's got Last Christmas on there. Again... Is it a Christmas album if you've not got Last Christmas on there? That's true. 
Yeah. And uh, randomly, mm -hmm. Earth, Wind and Fire have produced some of it. The band Earth, Wind and Fire. All right, okay, not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not the elements of Earth, Wind and Fire. <laughs> or them singing their songs. <laughs> yeah. And um, Seth MacFarlane, who, pre who made Family, Family Guy. Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite quite strange. Um, yeah, I would say you would give buy that for your little sister. Okay. If you've got a little sister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and finally, mm -hmm. this is so. This is not a Christmas album. Okay. This is a Christmas song. Ooh. And it's by Beverly Light. Beverly Light. Beverly Knight. It's Beverly Light. <laughs> like, <laughs> She's the low-fat version of Beverly Knight. <laughs> it's Beverly Knight, and this one is called a Christmas wish. The Ooh. theme to the loss adjuster. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, in a, as a, in a song in isolation, as it's in itself, mm -hmm. it's quite good. It's very sort of Motown-y, gospel-y, up-tempo. But it's the theme tune to the most bizarre Christmas film ever. Okay. So it's called... The, the film is called The Loss Adjuster. I think we've got mm -hmm. a picture of the actual film poster. Um, and it stars... Matt Goss from Brass, mm -hmm. who is, is a loss adjuster. His wife is her from Hearsay. Okay. Um, Kimberly Marsh. Kimberly Marsh. And they said Jodie Marsh, but that's not. No. Wouldn't surprise me if she was in there. Um, <laughs> and and it's, it, apparently it goes, it's about his day going really bad, um, doing a loss adjustment. In some, some reason he, he meets up with Joan Collins. As you do. As you do. Who plays at um, Christmas? That's what it's for. It's just, it's just bizarre. It's, 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 it's not out of the pictures. Oh, okay. It's one of those streaming things. All right. So it's not, it's not, not, not been straight to DVD or anything. No, it's, it's not straight it's, to DVD. It has been released. They've not gone. Oh dear. I think it's just really straight to streaming. I think they've just gone. Okay. Well, a lot of, a lot of movies are doing that yeah. in the minute. So, so perhaps, song good. Film not so good. Oh. But you know, see what you say. Um, now, celebrity calendars. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of a celebrity calendar? I am indeed a, a fan of a celebrity pin-up. Oh. Now, 2020, 2020, you would have thought that not many would be able to go into production because of, of Corona. We've been in well, lockdown. You only need 12 nude pics, don't you? <laughs> it's, not, it's not tricky. I've got more than that on my phone from last week. Oh, OK. Well, when you, if you're not a pervert, then you might... No, no, I didn't say they were mine. Oh, OK. <laughs> I just need 12 right, pictures. Okay. <laughs> well, some people have managed to produce calendars for 2021. OK. The first one we've got is the Tiger King 2021 calendar. No, I don't think he's produced any of that. Uh, no, I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't no. think he's been in prison <laughs> and gone, oh, we'll have that for March and let's do that. Um, yeah, it's, it's full of... of, of Iconic Tiger King imagery from the actual documentary. Oh, cool. um, so one of, <laughs> so this this one is um, picture we've got of him and his husbands. This is April, twenty twenty one. Okay. Ooh, are you moist looking at that? I no, am. no. I just know one of them's dead. Oh, which? The one in the back that shot himself. Oh, awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't, I, I, perhaps, perhaps they need to recall the calendar <laughs> and, and rethink. It was part of the. Remember when it, one of them died. Vaguely. That was the one. Okay. Yeah. Um, then we've got, you know, him as um, Reverend Tiger King. Um, so that uh -huh. was when he did the video um, with the song saying that Carol Baskin had Shot. killed her husband. Yeah, yeah. And in that picture, he's actually got a, a, a fake Car Carol Baskin's head on a thing. That's pretty niche. Ooh, very niche. So you can you can order that if you if that's if you choose to. Um, next up, we have Red Heart. Okay. Um, so Red Heart, now this will catch your attention. Oh, this is the gingers, isn't it? The, yeah, this is... Yeah. <laughs> it, apparently its aim is to rebrand the ginger male stereotype by showcasing ginger men as sexy and desirable. Mm-hmm. So... Well, I, I, I think they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we've only got one picture for that one. No, we've got... No, look, this is another oh, one. Yes. Um, so you, so you, there's actually two choices. All right. There's the Red Hot Calendar, mm. and then there's Red Hot All Stars 2021. Okay. So like 24 for your, for your dollar. Okay, that's good. Now, obviously, as the rest of the world, mm -hmm. Father Christmas cannot be here in person. Right. He sent gifts. Yes, he has. Yeah. yeah I've got one here for you. Oh, wow. Oh. And I have one here for you from oh. Santa. 
small, small we, we know that Santa watches the show. Mm-hmm. So I wonder whether he's bought us gifts based on something we may have covered in the show. Oh, I don't Ooh. know. Pim, would you like to open yours first? I, I think I will. Go for it. What, what could is. Santa have brought Mike Benny and... Oh, he's bought me a boyfriend. He's brought you your own very power top. Oh, that's lovely of him, isn't is it? Is he... Is he anatomically correct, Mike? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, ho, ho. And he's impressive as well, so oh. can't show that on TV, but thank you, Santa. Happy Christmas and happy birthday. Oh, let's see what this one is. Oh, what is it, what is it, what is it? This is Nocturnal Emissions. Oh, oh. beautiful. Um, and I've got a big one here. Shall I just close that down for a second? I've got a sarcasm ball. He knows you so well. He does know well, me so doesn't well. He? So exciting. Oh, it is. Just can't get into it. Too tight. It's too tight. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that that's precious. That is beautiful. That's um, speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. Butting glitter penguins. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so lucky. So shall we see what you've yeah, got? Shall we see what I've got? Okay. Yeah. Is it just a bag of paper? It looks like a bag of paper, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look. Let's do... <gasps> Has he got you your own pair of yellow Crocs, Lee? What the f*** is this? <laughs> Are these... Then these aren't... They're not even... They're not <laughs> even Justin Bieber's they're not, ones. They're just, they're just yellow Crocs. They smell bad. <laughs> Oh. Santa, you... <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, they're great. Thank you, Lee. Coming soon, we have our festive-themed life lesson. Before that, we find out what he's found while quaffing brandy. It's Mike in the bus. Good night, it's me, Noddy Older. Well, it, it is Merry Christmas. Well, it's not my song. Oh, heck. Right, guys, at Chewing the Cud, you're amazing. Have a lovely, ho happy holiday. Bye. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's over to the man who puts the mince into pies. It's Mike in the festive buzz. <laughs> Okay, so it's a festive a festive episode. So I thought let's let's focus on the, the big thing for Christmas. What do you think the biggest thing about Christmas is? Um presents. I nearly sounds <laughs> really, really rude. What are we going to say? Santa's jack. Okay, no, it's not that. No. No. Um, although it does jiggle like a bowl full of jelly. Um because <laughs> he needs to see a doctor. Um, Christmas toys. Yeah, Ooh, so the, every so year, so in the past we've had Tamagotchis. Yeah. Furbies. Yeah. Tracy Islands. Yeah. Yeah. All that sort of big stuff. Yeah. What do you think this year's big toy is? I'm gonna a toss up between two. Okay. I do like pooping, a toss up. Pooping Flamingo. Pooping Flamingo. Or that green... Thing. Baby Yoda. Yes, Baby Yoda. Yes. You were right with Baby Yoda. Oh. Yeah. You can actually get your very own animatronic Baby Yoda. Can you? Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's called the Mandalorian Child officially. Okay. Just known as Baby Yoda. Don't call it Baby yeah. Yoda. Um, but, you know what, it's very close to the big day. Mm? Right? And that's £60. Pounds. It's a, that's a steep amount of It's a lot of money, money. for, a, for a, a, a Yoda. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially when you think, oh, I've got to try and get out there, I've got to try and get off Amazon, and, and shopping this year for Christmas gifts has been tricky. It has. You could always make your own. Really? Yes, for just things you'll have lying around the house. Are you going Olivet Fielding, Blue Peter on us? I am coming over all, I'm coming over Olivet Fielding. You're coming on Olivet Fair, are you? I am indeed. Ooh! Okay, so we'll need a couple of things. So, something you'll need is a towel that you've dyed brown. Dyed brown. Dyed brown. 
Unless you own brown towels, if you were in the 70s, so here you go. Biscuits. Biscuits, yes, <laughs> it's not biscuits. Um, you'll also need a lettuce. Oh, this is gonna go well, isn't it? This is a long lasting gift. There's your lettuce. lettuce. And there's my lettuce. You're also going to need a cabbage. A cabbage as well? A cabbage as well, because it needs a body and a head. Oh, this is a gift that keeps on giving. It is. <laughs> it looks like a brain. <laughs> it does, yeah. You'll need some little blueberries. So you to take some blueberries. How many? Just, just two, really, is all you need. But if you want to take a couple more, you can have a, have a nibble. OK. Uh -huh. And then you'll need a couple of cocktail sticks. There you go. Why, thank you. OK. And it's actually quite easy. So your cabbage is your body. Okay. OK. And then you need to stick a cocktail stick into the top of your cabbage. I have done okay. that. Now it's at the top of the cabbage on the side. Because if you let go of it, it needs to be able to stand up. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh. Oh. There. Oh, right. OK. And then on top of that, we're going to put the lettuce. But we'll need ears from the lettuce, so you have to peel two, la two layers off your lettuce. This, this is going to be a repeat of every single one of your life lessons, isn't it? No. Well, I'm going to end up... Sad, or disappointed. <laughs> no, because this is this is a baby Yoda. And then what do I do with that? And then you, you impale it on the, the cabbage. Does it need to go a particular way? Yeah, so the bottom. From the through it through it through the bottom because you want the heavier stuff at the bottom. There you go. Okay, lovely. And then you need to make two ear shapes from your leaves of lettuce and impale that on. So far, it looks like a decomposing rabbit. OK, well... Go. And then your blueberries you're going to impale with some cocktail sticks to make eyes. And then once you've done that, you wrap it in your lovely brown towel. So if you don't have £60 to spend on uh, a toy, and you haven't yet bought yourself a uh, Baby Yoda, you can make one at home quite quickly. Do you not love your children? I don't have any. How, how, I'm sorry, that's a brilliant baby Yoda. So if we look at the real one, what kid oh. is going to see the difference between that beautiful toy for £60 mm. and this thing that's, that's cost just a few pounds to make? That's going to rot. And it's edible too, so you could eat baby Yoda. And, and, and spikes, spiky bits. Well, don't make a bit um, well, a where, for a small child, obviously. Where is the animatronic bit? I am ba Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda doesn't speak. <laughs> Baby Yoda's not very well for Lee. Um, I need a new present. <laughs> <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that works quite well. Just going to leave that there for the rest of the show. Um, I might have a nibble of it here, actually. Mmm, taste sensation. And if something grabs your baubles and flutters your tinsel, why not share it with us? Just give us a tag using the Could TV on all the usual social media sites. We really do read all your messages. So, make our Christmas by filling our inbox with fantastic frivolities. Speaking of which, we were thrilled this week to receive a letter from a Mrs Mycock, who sent us a picture her granddaughter drew of Santa's hat. Oh, that's a very fluffy hat. 
It's beautiful. Yeah. Large. Yes, I think. And that brings us to the story of the week. Okay. Now, a lovely new dessert has come out just for Christmas. Ooh. Now, what do you think the best dessert could possibly be that they've brought out? For Christmas? For Christmas. Um, just a massive bowl of chocolate. A massive bowl of chocolate. So chocolate soup is what you're asking yeah, for there. Yeah, with a bit of holly on top. Which you've already invented. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you've already invented chocolate soup, so that doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count as a thing, Lee. Really oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. But there is a new thing that's come out, which is a giant Ferrero Rocher dessert. So yes, this is a frozen dessert from Aldi at 4 pounds mm -hmm. okay, and it is a giant, giant for our Rocher. So it's chocolate ice cream and nuts and chocolate sauce Ooh. and more nuts and wafers. Wafers. Wafers and more chocolate and nuts. It's basically a giant for our Rocher, but it's made out of ice cream. Of, it's not full of Brussels sprouts to no. just to make you sad. That would be you that does that to yourself, Lee. So yeah, um, but I thought that was quite exciting. Mm. Would you be rushing out to get one before Christmas Day? I can't fit all of that in my mouth at the same time, which well, is uh, generally what I want to do <laughs> with a Ferrero Rocher. Okay. So you can get this, this wonderful thing called a spoon, okay? And it's like a shovel, but for your mouth. Yeah, but what I like to do is mm. get a Ferrero Rocher and put one in one side and one in that side of my mouth and just sit there while it slowly melts in my face. Okay, you like to do that with two Ferrero Rochers? Yes. And you've got two Ferrero Rochers there, haven't you? Have I? You have, yeah. Oh, I do. So could you give us a, a quick demonstration on what you mean? Oh, okay. See, I, I like, I, the, only, the only variety of Ferrero Rocher that I don't like is the dark chocolate ones. You see, the only one I don't like is the coconut ones. <gasps> Love the coconut no. ones. No. No, no, no. So, well, yeah. the classic is the best. Yeah, these are, these are the classic ones. They're the classic so, ones, yeah. So I like to take take those. Those lovely chocolatey balls. Yeah. Pop them in your mouth. One there. Ooh. Okay. One there, just sit there. Just sit there like that. <laughs> that is uh. the most attractive pose I've ever <laughs> seen anyone do. <laughs> My room, Christmas, <laughs> And then, uh -huh. with the power of your cheek muscles. Yeah. That was your teeth. That was cheating. But yeah, crush them. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. Don't twiddle your fairy lights. What's coming up next is this week's Christmassy life lesson. It's me, Mariah Carey, Queen of Christmas. Just wanted to wish you all a wonderful, happy Christmas and an amazing new year. Because all I want for Christmas is you. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for our festive... Life Lessons. Luckily, the producer sent us a little card. Isn't that nice? Oh, yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, let's just say what it says, shall we? Mmm. Okay. Dear Mike and Lee, it's always formal for a change. Sadly, I'm spending Christmas alone this year. Normally, on Christmas Eve, I get the boys round to help me pull some crackers and nibble on some nuts in a specially designed marquee. Oh. Mm. But not this year. It's too big to get it up on my own, and I usually need a couple of guys to help. So instead, I'm cooking Christmas dinner for one. Oh. I want you to show me how to do a good stuffing on my own. So let's all whisk off to the producer's kitchen now. We're here in our lovely kitchens. I'm up here and Lee's down there. Right. No, just keep ignoring me as normal. Um, we've been told that we have to stuff turkeys, but we've been given chickens. 
Uh, we have to do this blindfolded and also we have to peel a potato. So we have a potato and we have our stuffing, which is lovely too. You got your potato, Lee? Um, no, I've got all the makings of sexy time, but I've got no potato. You've not got a potato? Right. Not the potato. Yeah, buy one. Catch. Ooh! Ooh! It's like, it's like manna from heaven. Although next time, can I have it chipped with cod and uh, mushy peas, please? Thank you very much. Okay. I've got my other potato, so that's okay. And then we have some butter and some lard. Lard in a chicken isn't going to taste good, so don't use the lard, but we're blindfolded. So that's going to be interesting. Okay. And then I need the peeler. And there's the peeler. Lovely. I'm going to glove up before because I don't want to touch your raw chicken. Are you gloving up? I'm going to do it now. It's This is going a little bit kinky weird. Oh. Oh, I like it. I like the I like the sound of a snapping glove. How long does it take you to put gloves on? Just shut up. They're on. I know. I'm going to blindfold. I'm going to take my glasses off. There we go. And can I see? Test if I can see, Lee. Oh, now it is gone sexy time. Right. So I cannot see anything. So what do I do next? Do I have to find the stuffing mix? I'm assuming that is that stuffing mix. Nigella Lawson doesn't have to get all this ready. Water. Okay. Oh god. That's Okay. Sagey. Now, I, I don't really know how much water you're supposed to put in the stuffing thing. I hope that's going in the bowl and not on my crotch. Oh, that does not feel nice. Oh, there's a spoon in the bloody bowl. Now, something in here. Oh, I can fit my hand in. So that's the crevice. If you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. Mm. So I'm going to put the stuffing into the chicken. Nope. It's like, a, this is like um, a trial on I'm a Celebrity. Push it in the chicken. So I've got a, uh, I've got a mm, moisturize and ten, uh, 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 that's a f leg. Let's see what I can massage into this chicken. Oh, that feels nice. Actually, I feel, that does feel good. Memories, memories. Oh. This is very much what I imagine straight sex is like. Just fumbling in the dark with stuff. It rubs the lotion on its skin, otherwise it gets the hose again. You enjoying yourself down there, Lee? I'm enjoying myself, but clearly not as much as you are up there. Okay. Right, now I need to peel that potato. I'm assuming, is this for spit roasting? I can only find one hole. Ooh, I can only find one hole though, gaping. Um, right. Potato. And peeler. Uh. <sighs> Stuffing in that in there. That is really, really unpleasant. Like. <sighs> oh! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I am fisting chicken. That is something. Are you all right, babes? Are you all right? Peel the potato away. 
Sounds like it's working. Go on, all of, take all of my stuffing, Daddy. I think I don't have any stuffing left. Oh, this is hard work. No, okay, I think that'll have done it. You want me to peel back the skin to reveal the flesh underneath, I assume. That's, that's likely to have done it, yeah. One skin, two skin, three skin, four skin. There we go, and I've done a peeled potato, so I'm gonna pop that in the tray as well. I'm gonna shove mine right up its backside. That's where the flavour is. Come on. Come on. Let's just get it in there. Just breathe, relax. Is, is it as good for you as it is for me? Oh. oh yeah, I think it's there. I think it might be in. There we go. And I'm done. Um, I think I need to just go and sit down in a quiet dark room, light my Gwyneth Paltrow the JJ candle, and just listen to some whales and just, you know, absorb what has happened. Now, while we go and cook our chickens, here's another message from one of our celebrity friends. Hey guys, it's me, Cliff Richard, uh, wishing all you guys are chewing the cut a very Merry Christmas. And to you cutsters, buy my new album. It's gathering dust on the shelves. Yeah, uh, I love Christmas. It's all about mistletoe and wine. Children singing Christian rhyme. Mwah. Yeah, I like Subaka, but not in that way. Yeah. Happy Christmas! Hello, it's me, Pretty Patel. I'm Pretty Pretty Patel. Everyone loves me at number 10. And I just wanted to share all of my Christmas wishes with you at Chewing the Cud and all of you cudsters out there. Get away from that! That's mine! Have a lovely, lovely Christmas. Bye-bye! We have come to the end of the show for now. But if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv on our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. And so, like the last couple left at the end of the night in a gentleman's sauna, we've time for a very quick but happy ending that comes in the form of our picture of the week. This week, it comes to us from Testicles, who lives in... <laughs> Ridlington. <laughs> um, and she writes... <laughs> Dear Chewing the Cud, have you ever wondered where candy canes come from? Okay. That's unpleasant, isn't it? <laughs> That's a choice. Okay. Uh, well, have a lovely Christmas, everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.